Hi, this is Sal Mansoor and today I'm going to talk about how do we stop procrastination when it comes to reading. So stay tuned. This is a question I've been asked a lot of times. Hey Sal, initially I get excited to read the book, but after a few days, the excitement just goes off and I keep on pushing on to the next day. And this leads to leaving the book on bookshelf unread. Well, this is something which most people have been doing. So let's make sure we stop this. And that's called procrastination. Well, how do we do that? Before I tell you the tips, I want you to get more clarity on what's happening over here. Initially, when you start to read the book, you were all excited. The thought to read this book was up high over there. And you want to make sure you complete this book. But after a few days, the value of this thought started reducing down and down as the days proceeded. And that's when you began to procrastinate. I learned tomorrow, I learned tomorrow. There's nothing much I learned about this book. So let me push it off. Then those kind of thoughts came in. So what's the math over here? When the value of the thought reduces down, procrastination start increasing, start dominating. Mm -hmm. So if I can make this positive thought up high over there, procrastination will always be minus zero. And that's what I want you to do. So here are the four tips on how can you make that positive thought up high and kill procrastination. So ready? Number one, have a voice recorder. Yes. This is the most important thing when it comes to procrastination. How do we use this? Simple. Initially when you lift the book and you're all excited, the energy levels are really high. It's something like having a newborn baby in your hand. You're so excited and happy about it. Whatever the baby does, you're so excited. <laughs> all that. The same thing happens when it comes to reading. You read the first chapter like, wow, this, is really, this author is really good. You have all those positive thoughts. I want to capture that moment. And how do we do that? By the voice recorder app. Yes. Make sure you record yourself at that moment. Tell exciting words at that moment because you know at that moment you're really passionate at a high level. You really will speak good about that book. Make sure you capture it. Record that voice of yours. And let's use that as an igniter for you to be committed to read this book. So once you have that voice of yours recorded, make sure you hear it at least three times in a day. So make sure you put the reminder at least after three hours or two hours, whatever is comfortable for you. So that you listen to that voice again and again and relive that moment so that you have the excitement still alive in you towards that book. Yes, that's the number one tip I have for you. Now, tip number two, Break down the book into different interesting chapters. Remember, it's interesting chapters for you, not for the author. Make sure you select the things which are really interesting for you. So once you have those, make sure you put everything into paper. Because what most people do is they're like, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. And then they keep it in the mind. And unfortunately, after some time, the thought of reading four to five chapters becomes overwhelming. And you're like, oh my God, I have to read 5th, 6th, 7th. I just forgot about it. I don't want to read that. I don't want you to do these errors. Make sure you write it down. Monday, chapter 1. Tuesday, chapter 3. Wednesday, chapter 6. Those kind of things. Write it down because it becomes much easier for the brain to work and for you to put it into actions. And that hey, if you found value in this video, I've got good news for you. Make sure you join the 7 days marketing challenge. This will give you tons of value and make sure you're committed to read any book. And one more thing, if you really like this video, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You don't want to miss another video, right?